Hey folks, back again after thinking things through and uh, based on my previous video regarding my new mean loader, MA loader by mean, mean arms. So you saw that I broke it right off the bat and doing some uh, super glue with Instabond will hold it, but it's unusable because it's the first time you use it it kind of snaps and the way this particular piece is designed is kind of interesting because when you look at what it does let me see if I can get it back together correctly all right so that's what it looks like when it's its whole self so it's an interesting design the split here which means when you push this up, if you, if you push this up with any force, there's probably a bunch of pressure coming down on this particular side of it, which to me it would be the weakest. I mean, this is pretty thin stuff, so probably a lot of pressure on here or enough pressure on here. So what I'm thinking is never using this, obviously. Um, this is the first thing that came to mind because I'd seen it in the big box shop a um, hundred times stronger than duct tape this and they have samples of what it fixes and it's pretty incredible but it's also kind of like fiberglass gloves I know there's some resin in here and then the actual fiber fix that feels hard as a ball so that's plan B and then I stumbled on some Loctite wrap um, self-fusing stretch wrap so I've seen something like this before and uh, my thought was well why not use the Instabond to at least get this set again so where it's you know one piece and then tinker with the Loctite and if that doesn't work, maybe do the uh, repair wrap. Ultimately, at the end of the day, Mean Arms reached out and uh, offered to replace the loader. And I didn't feel right about that because I effed this up. So um, they gave me the option of just the ring, too. So the ring will ship sometime later this week, uh, maybe for next week. But uh, I like to tinker, so I'm going to tinker. And uh, I don't know if I'll walk you through doing the Instabond. You've seen other projects where I've used this with the accelerator spray and such. So what I'll probably do is Instabond this because I need to put on gloves. I don't want crazy glue kind of stuff all over my fingers for the next three days. And uh, I'll come back and we'll try and Loctite this and see what kind of bond that does actually create before going to plan B with the fiber fix. Talk to you in a few. Back again. So I essentially, this is maybe a better view without my thumbs and finger, or rather thumb and fingers, holding this together so you can get an idea of what this thing actually looks like. So this is what goes obviously on top of here to hold it in place so I'm hoping that uh, with these I don't know edges grooves they'll line up pop it in here it'll line up and then just bring this down to pop in here but I don't even know if it'll hold together long enough for that because it seems like with any force this wants to uh, come apart so I did uh, Instabond and activated it just to hopefully hold it in place and put a little extra glue uh, on here that's now dry. Hopefully hold it in place long enough to peel this, stretch it, and then wrap it around the base here and that's supposed to give it a bond because going to this will be messy and I don't know if it'll work that much better. So we're going to give this a try. So supposedly we just peel 
I pre-cut a strip. So peel. Stretch. Let's see if my uh, looks like it'll. You know what? Let me pause for a second and cut this. Yeah. So I cut just enough so that when I'm wrapping this around, it's not going to hit these holes. So here we go. So and what I will do is also stretch as I'm wrapping. I'm just a little nervous that it will tear or rather snap simply because of didn't want that Same effect in terms of this is something you wrap. And I thought, eh, it'd be cool to have at home for stuff that breaks, other stuff that breaks. Okay, so it's definitely wrapped. <laughs> How strong it is, that's another issue. Cheers. All right, so moment of truth because it didn't talk about any drying time. It's thicker there. It's reinforced. Um, I have a second mean loader that was part of the the deal, and uh, sorry, I'm not staying in ca in, uh, in camera trying to do two things at once. So I'm trying to get this centered, which I'd say that's about centered. And I'm going to try and pop this on. I'm trying to uh, find the grooves without breaking it. So I think what I want to do, I mean, it naturally wants to set right there, but I don't know if that's going to, nope, it broke. Yep. Okay. I felt it separate. So I think we're, we're a no-go. So close. Oh well. Maybe plan B tomorrow. So there is upside. I'm no engineer, but uh, after looking, notice I have the MA loader lock on. But after looking at where I was having flex, because I would pop this up a couple times and then the ring would fall out, like maybe two or three times, it was right here in the corners. So all I did was this initial wrap, and then afterwards I added that wrap and then that wrap to tighten the corners. And now, and boy, that just doesn't feel right when it never did. Uh, so now, if, uh, if that's the 
front of the ejection port. So this comes out well the way it should. And, and I'm being kind of rough with it. Rougher than I think I need to be. And it's held. So I'm going to declare a workaround success. I'll keep this in here when the new ring shows up. I may or may not replace it or I may run the loader like this. And this reminds me of this, this stretchy grip wrap tape self-fusing stuff. I got I went to a show years ago and I picked something up similar for my motorcycle and it acts just the same way and that one was black so god I wish I could find that and take off the clear and go with black to match but uh, it's not working whoops got a little too happy there uh, with the fingering good stuff end of story success